Ned told me not to trust you. I'm not a grass. Don't blame me because you messed up. I trusted you. So what happened? Where's my son? Oh, he's gone. He's arrested. Like I'd be if he hadn't run. All right, so you ran away from Simon? It was a setup. The police were all over us as soon as we loaded the car. They knew everything. I'm lucky I got away. I don't care about you. My son's been arrested. Where are you going? I'm going to the police. No, you're not. No, you're not. But we do need to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere with you. Well, what do you want to do? Stay here? No, I want to go and see my son. You'll stay here with me. What am I going to do about Simon? I'll send the lawyers in. I'll get them out on bail. If I find out you've grasped us up, I'll kill you. And yeah, maybe it makes you feel better blaming somebody else, but the truth is, you messed up. I mean, why would I do something like that? You know, why would I put myself in danger? You know what? I think you're right. It wasn't you. But you do know who ratted us out, don't you? Simon. No. Yeah, that little mop top bottle wouldn't melt. He knew everything. He knew all the details. It was him. No, no. No, I should have twigged it sooner because I saw it. I saw it. When one of them grabbed him, he'd even try and fight. He'd even try and run. Yeah, well, he was probably scared stiff. He was in the middle of a police raid. That's the point. He wasn't scared. It's like he knew it was going to happen. And one of them, they said something to him. I don't know what he said. But police don't whisper sweet nothings in your ear when they're wrestling you to the ground. It wasn't, Simon. If he thinks his little police mates can protect him, he's made a massive mistake, trust me. They can arrest him, they can lock him up. I'll get to him, trust me. And if they let him out, he'll be dead within 24 hours. It wasn't, Simon, it was me. Well, now we're getting somewhere, aren't we? That's our car. Me and you were going to go for a little drive. Please, Gemma, listen, right? I know I made a mistake. I know I did. And I wish I hadn't done it. And listen, I'll do anything, anything to make it better. Do you forget? I know what it's like to be on the victim's end. Do you not remember when I got stuck in that turnstile? It was proper humiliating. Everyone was having a pop at me. Of course I do. So I don't understand how you could do this. I mean, what was going on in your head? <gasps> I wish I could explain it. I, I was cheesed off and I'd had a drink and I know that's not an excuse. Look, no, there is no excuse. I mean, I'm not the best at putting myself in other people's shoes, yeah? But I am a mum now and if something happened to one of my babies and then I had to deal with someone like you trolling me on social media, I don't even know how I cope. I know. There's some things that you can't forgive. And the fact that you let Brian take the blame, that just makes it even worse. I know. I used to think you was a decent person, but there's something proper nasty inside you that's just come out. Don't come round my house again, yeah? Just promise me you won't touch Si. Cross me out. Get in the car. What are you going to do with me? Unless you don't know. Look, I had no idea what was going on. It was me. It was all me. I told the police about the shipment. That's it. Nothing else. Get in the car. You can do your best, but I will fight you back. If I, if I have to fight, I will. I want you to fight me. Get in the car! Please. Please just swear that you'll let Sai go. No one sure that I'll take care of Simon. Be like my little pet. Sorry, I thought you'd be done by now. Oh, we just got chatting. All done now, though. I should probably get out of your way. Oh, no, you're not in the way. Do you want another coffee? No, I've, I've got stuff to do. So if you can get those numbers to me as soon as you have them, that'd be great. I'll speak soon, yeah? Carla. Well, thank you for dropping me in it. How did I? Well, forcing me to take a meeting that I was not prepared for. Well, it's awkward. I'm sorry. Do you know, nobody else gets to pick and choose what they do. How come you're so special? You know why. All I know is Nick's back now, so I'm not really sure what your function is anymore. But I appreciate that you know this business like the back of your hand, but if you're just going to swan in and out when you fancy it and you're jibbing out of meetings, we have to cover for you. Maybe it's time you move on. You know what, Sarah? I think you're right. I'll ask Nick to terminate my contract at the end of the month. OK.
All right. Yeah. Well, I know you're the big mountain walker, mate, but I can do two laps around the red wreck, you know. I'm all right. I'm just trying to be sensitive. Well, don't. Not one of your strong suits, that. Uh, look, I've apologised for what I said about Carla and what's his trousers. Lucas. Look, I was wrong, OK? I shouldn't have opened my big trap. You and Carly, you're like me and Tracy. Everyone thinks it's a car crash, but it actually works. I mean, you're all right now, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. How was your sticky bun? Sticky. Mm. How was your custard tart? Custody. <laughs> Is that even a word? If it's not, it should be. <laughs> right, enough small talk. How's it going? How's what going? You know what? Todd, first day at work. Oh, well, you know Todd. Mm, better than most, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> well, he's... Todd. Mm, thinks he should be running the place. Kind of. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not very respectful of authority. <laughs> I can see that. Gets a little bit self-absorbed. A bit. A bit full of himself. He's full of something. Sorry. When you said it, oh, it never stops. Profit projections, alternative burials, bespoke digital services, a whole new era of funerals. Well, at least he's keen. Maybe you could bring some new ideas to the business. New ideas? Shuttleworth has been in business for over a hundred years. Undertaking's in my blood, Eileen. It's coursing through me veins and he still thinks he knows better. Well, maybe your veins are too clogged up with custody tarts and you need somebody with dynamism and energy. We're still struggling to get back to normal. It's not time for newfangled ideas. Well, at least he has some ideas. Not like the stick in the mud he works for. Going back to work. I'll be back in an hour. Love you. Do I look all right? You look fine. Oh, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, it's just a bit of dinner in the cafe. Come on. I keep thinking everyone's looking at me, though. Well, I just saw a police car racing around to Victoria Street five minutes ago. I think people around here have got something new to gossip about. Oh, I didn't see a police car. I wonder what that was about. Oh. Oi! No! You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. No, breaking up a decent family. Do you ever think about the damage? My sister's a mess, and the kids have got no idea what's going on. Hey, Chess. If you want to have a go at somebody, have a go at me. I'd love to, thanks. Do you know how pathetic you are? Just another sad middle-aged bloke chasing some young skirt, abandoning your kids. You're acting like a total selfish idiot type. Chesney, come on, please. Yeah, ready for my dinner now. Good news is, Harvey's off the streets. Had a bit of luck for a very long time. The bloke's a psychopath. Yeah. And hopefully he'll spend a long time in prison, thanks to you. Why, Simon? He's still at the police station. We just need to make it look like he's being treated the same as the other suspects. Well, it's a bit late for that. Harvey already knows that I've been working for you. He's already said that he's going to send his goons after me inside. But you do still need to come down the station and give a full witness statement. You don't need to do that right now. Look, I know you need a break. Can you come tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Listen. This might be some months before this comes to court. So we can talk about police protection. And we'll do everything we can to help you, Leon. Because your evidence is crucial. We owe you big time. Well, thanks, but I just want my son back safe. I just want to get out of this nightmare. Well, with your help, we'll get this gang shut down permanently. Just get my son back to me, please. I know what I need to do after that. Oh, look how many times I have no idea what you are talking about. Look, I sell kebabs. Kebabs, not drugs. And the only deliveries I do are from the fish and chip shop. Like a, like a haddock and chips. Maybe we should continue this conversation at the police station. No, this is ridiculous. Why are you like, first you have all these like, police cars that are just screeching around and what innocent local traders have been taken in for questioning? Why? We're investigating a serious drug gang. We reason to believe that your chip shop's being used as a cover for drug deals. No, 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 not drugs. Chips. You know, fish and chips, pie and chips, battered sausage and chips. 
Uh, look at that. Uh, that is Simon. He'll tell you. He, he's the one that does all the deliveries. Hey, Simon, would you tell him, okay? You and Jacob deliver what? Fish and chips. Simon, tell him. F fish. Simon. Nina showed me the messages. I thought you should know. Has Alex seen these? I, I, I don't know. Oh, bless him. He's sticking up for me and he gets a ton of bricks dumped on his head. It, well, it's, it's not working today, but I, I didn't think I should wait before telling you. This is all my fault. It's like I've started an avalanche. Innocent people are getting buried alive. Roy, I trust your opinion. What do you think I should do? Well, this kind of social media trolling, it's not something I know much about. But I do think that if, if Alex sees those messages, I imagine he'll be quite upset. You're right. I'll call him now. Well, he's been arrested and charged, and they're going to keep him in prison on remand until the trial. Yeah, well, that's not going to stop him, is it? Well, the police are outside. Yeah, I know that's Si. But we've also got locks on the door. But we could armor plate the whole building and have a platoon of tanks waiting outside. He made it very clear he'll get to us wherever we are. His gang are connected to other gangs, and as soon as word gets out, he's going to come after me. So what are we going to do? First thing tomorrow, I have to go down to the police station, record a witness statement. As soon as that's done, we go. We'll go where? Well, I'm still working on that. But somewhere we'll be safe, at least until the trial. And then, well, maybe we can come back after that, but I can't make any promises. Look, I know this is going to be hard. We're going to be away from our friends and our family. Listen, I don't care about all of that, all right? I just want us to be safe, me and you. Yeah, and we will be. We will be. I like my day so far. Tea and biscuits. And I had to go to the shops to get bourbons because they were the customer's favourite. Well, this place needs a bit more dynamism, not a better selection of biscuits. You've got a job. Millions haven't. Just be patient. I'm not sure this is right for me. You've only been here two minutes. So just tone down the attitude, lay off the big ideas and give it a chance. Oh, hiya. Hiya. I was just passing, so I just thought I'd see how Todd was doing. Sorry about being defensive earlier. All right. Well, we're, um, we're muddling through, aren't we? Muddling? So, um, what do you think? Now we're all done and open for business. Quite snazzy, eh? But still respectful. It's very nice. Fancy that little tour now? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's all right. Most folk are a bit nervous. But we do keep parts of the business private, you know, out of respect. Oh, yeah, of course you do. But, uh, but like I said, I was just passing and I, I, I should get back to work. OK. Maybe some other time, eh? Yeah, 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 great. Um, right, so be good. Remember what I said. See ya. Bye. Some days, women had a total mystery to me. You talked about my mum? Eh? No, not specifically. But she's a very nice lady, your mother. You're a lucky lad. Yes, I am. Are you going to tell me what the flaming ex going on? Oh, yeah, well, you just keep your voice down, Si's in his bedroom. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, because according to Imran, Simon was at the police station only hours ago being arrested for drug dealing. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Cos I thought you were more interested in hanging out with your new boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Right. Good. Well, that's a relief. But please, Lee, you have got to tell me what is going on with Simon dealing drugs? I mean, has he been charged? <sighs> Look, Toya, there's been loads of stuff going on that you don't know about. Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious. Simon wasn't dealing drugs. I was. All right, only me. Hey, love. Hmm. I see you two have been doing a lot of kissing and making up, then. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but we have enjoyed a very nice afternoon tea. Very civilised. We had little sandwiches, three different types of cake. And he cut the crusts off. It's not a proper afternoon tea with the crusts on. It's a shame you missed it. I'm impressed, Steve. Well, you know, I'm very cultured. Right, well, you know, after all that food, I think I need some fresh air. I'm gonna go and uh, surprise my wife with a surprise visit to her shop. 
He likes to live dangerously. Mm. Play nice. So, how was your day? Mm, pretty uneventful, really, but just how I like it. Really? Lucas came in for a meeting. Oh? You know, I've told Nick and Sarah that they can handle him, please, you know. Just, I don't see why I have to spend any time with him at all. In fact, I think I'm going to take a step back from that factory. What for? Well, I, I think it's time that I, I look for a new challenge. But you love it there. Hmm, not as much as I used to. Look, love, I, I don't want you to jack your job in because of me. I'm not. Peter, I'm not. OK, this is for me. I do trust you. I hope you do. Because, you know, I don't want you fretting over me. I love you, OK? I want you to put all your energy into getting better. That's exactly what I'm doing. Especially with what we've got planned. Absolutely. Mm. Everyone hates us. I know. I kind of like that round here when a couple splits up. But it will get better. Well, it's done now. Decision made. <laughs> the question is, what next? I don't know. The thing is, Alina, I tried to stop thinking about you. Like, I tried really hard. But I just couldn't. You kept popping in my head all the time. Popping into your head? Yeah, in a good way. I want to think of you. I, I just want to smile. Or I can't wait until I see you again. Look, I don't know how you feel, but the hardest part's over now. I've left Fizz. I'm a free man. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. And I'm a person hated by people in the street. Two minutes ago, you wanted me to leave town. Oh, well, yeah, I know that, but... Let me make one thing very clear. Nothing can ever happen between me and you. No, I'm not angry with you, love. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. They're all so cowards. Alex, listen, um... I know you're upset, love, but listen to me, OK? Listen, I want you to delete all your social media, OK? Alex? Alex. He's hung up on me. He was crying. So much hate and vitriol in those messages. Has something happened to Alex? Yes, it has. It was sticking up for me online, and he's just getting all this hate post. Well, that's got nothing to do with me. I never meant for anyone to troll Alex. The problem is, I can't see how we're going to stop all this hatred raining down on us. I need to go and see my nephew. Thanks, Roy. Thanks for all your help. Well, can't the police protect you? They said they'd keep us safe if I'd dobbed in this drugs gang. And then today, I come face to face on my own with probably the scariest bloke I've ever set eyes on. Well, what about witness protection? Well, they said we could do it. But it'd be forever. Assuming new identities, cutting all ties with our friends, our family, you. Well, isn't that what you're planning on doing? Well, not forever. At least I hope not forever. Lee, you've got to trust the police. Yeah, I've got a DS uh, Glynn's number. But you know what? When it comes down to it, the only person that I trust to protect me and Sai is me. Why didn't you talk to me? What could you do? I don't know. M maybe something. Maybe not, but at least you wouldn't have been on your own. I mean, you could have been killed today. Oh, just keep your voice down. Sorry, I just I feel so useless. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm always getting myself into scrapes, aren't I? I was really scared. 
Oh, I'm not even sure I should be telling you all this. Well, that's rubbish. Listen, look, me and Imran will do anything we can to help. Where will you go? It's probably best you don't know. I'll do this witness statement, then we'll go. This is so unfair. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. So many memories here. <laughs> me and you, running me dad and Johnny's rabbit. <laughs> Low pin with Nick. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> that is a lot of history to run away from. <laughs> yeah. Are you absolutely sure that you need to do this? Look, I don't care what I have to do. I've just got to keep Simon safe. Well, what about Nick? That's over now. Yeah, only because you pushed him away. Toya, I can't put him in danger. I just have to do what's best for me and Si. It's all that matters. In a one-off special celebrating Her Majesty's 95th birthday, The Queen Unseen features incredible rare footage tomorrow night on ITV at night. A decade has passed since our future King and Queen tied the knot and we're looking back at the momentous occasion next tonight in the day Will and Kate got married. <laughs>